My name is Mwikuku, and uh, here with me today is our brother Matthias. Uh, most of you know who Matthias is. Matthias is a popular man in Igbo land and he's a great personality. And uh, we brought Matthias to our studio so that uh, we can interact with him and know what transpired. Many of you know what happened recently, but it's better we hear from the horse's mouth. Uh, Matthias, please can you help and uh, introduce yourself to our audience? Yeah, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, my lovely brothers and sisters, depending on your time factor. My name still remains Mazi Ezake Jofo, the founder and leader of Ibo's Love Themselves Charity Foundation, and as well a messenger of Omen and Abu Zezo Unandu. Uh, let, without wasting much of our time, hey, my brother, it's been a long time since we saw you last in uh, online. Uh, please, can you tell us something about that? You know, we've missed you so much. You are highly welcome to today's live broadcast. For over two weeks now, I haven't been on live broadcast. So I miss a lot of you, and you are welcome to today's broadcast. Uh, please uh, explain to us how this arrest came about. What do you know about this arrest? Explain to our audience and also ask them to share this post so that it can get to many other people, your fans, those who have been trying to know what actually happened. So, um, just like I said today, I'm going to explain about my arrest to Abuja and uh, how everything was concluded. Thank you so much as you're listening. I want you to share the video, share the video, share the video. So on Sunday, being 19th of uh, September, I was arrested to Abuja. And on Tuesday, I could be able to be granted bail. Uh, that was on Tuesday, right? So, um, so I was arrested on Sunday. Then on Tuesday, I was granted bail in which uh, the police officers told us to come on Wednesday to meet the Commissioner of Police so that Commissioner of Police will hear from both the side, both the complainant and I, to make peace between us. So, but on that Wednesday, uh, the person that uh, helped me to grant me bail. He didn't manage it very well on that Wednesday. Mm, because uh, as we were waiting for the commissioner of police, he said that I should start going. Uh, my brother, it seems to be Igbo. He said I should speak Igbo. No, no, the language does not matter. You can speak English, at least. So that many people, not all your fans are Igbos. If you speak in English, maybe everybody will get to understand what we are saying here. That very day, they invited us to see the Commissioner of Police. But uh, unfortunately, uh, as I told you, that the person who assisted in granting me bail, okay, um, for my bail out. Um, told me to start going as that if they need my attention that he will call me. So I left on that Wednesday morning. I came back to Onicha. Yeah, the first time you were released, we saw a lot of crowd waiting for you. Uh, these crowds, uh, are they hired? Are they rented? Did you pay them to just come there and, and greet you? Who are they? Can you tell us more? Before I came back, our my followers, our followers that have been waiting for me, they celebrated my coming back. Um, so then after that, I went to the hospital. I was admitted in the hospital. So when the commissioner of police came and looked for me, he could not see me. And they told him that I have left. Oh, Matthias, if I should understand what you're saying, are you trying to tell us that you did not intentionally jump back because it's it has been reported that you jumped bell and you quickly rushed down to 
to Anambra to uh, pretend and uh, you know the normal format that uh, politicians normally use when they steal money uh, if you bring them to court before you know it they will collapse and, t and pretend to have fainted and people were t saying that you going to hospital to lie down and even your wife lying close before you was an attempt to jump bail and claim that you are sick uh, are you trying to say that you did not jump bail let's just stand on the truth you know here we pray the truth even if you are the commissioner of police, you will not be happy with me. And if you are the complainant, you will not be happy with the police as well because you might feel maybe we have bribed the police. That is why the police let me to go without even hearing from both sides. Understand? So it was a mismanagement by the person who helped me to grant me bail that very day. So, um... Then when my bar barrister came in the evening, my barrister don't even know that uh, I have left. That is why he went back in the evening. You know? So um, one of my barristers, not there because so many barristers came. So one of the barristers came in the evening to check on me. So the police now told him that they need me. Um, that the CP is not happy. That he asked me to wait for him so that both me and the complainant will meet him, which is the due process. But I left. So in that, that night, immediately I received that call around 12 o'clock, 12 a.m. I have to book flight again. Then I went back to, I went back to Abuja. You know, all of them, they were very angry, which is the normal thing because it seems that I disobeyed them. And you know the office we went to is not an ordinary office. This is one of the highest office once police uh, uh, force is concerned. The police officers, they were not happy with me. To the extent even that very day that those, some, uh, I think my IPU, he was sent to go and look for me at the airport. So all of them, they were very angry over me, including the complainant. And uh, if you are the one that complain the matter to the police and they bail the the person who complained the police and the person left without acknowledging those who reported him or the police officers even if you are the one if i'm the one i will not be happy so i went back i was detained again on on thursday and um on Saturday, um, Akuzayon came with his lawyer. Then I was brought out from the cell to meet the complainant. And the CP told us, you guys are brothers. You guys should go and settle. Now the assistant commissioner of police, sorry. Then, because that is normal thing for police. Then if you refuse that you will not settle, that means the police have to charge the matter to court. They have done their job. Police to bring, to bring peace. So, and by then, I have already noticed, my lawyer have already told me that uh, Akuzayon, that the lawyer representing them is Michael also coming. Understand? In I told Akuzayon that I'm not ready to go to court. You mean you are not ready to go to court? Are you afraid of uh, San Ozokome or what? What is exactly? What, what, what are you afraid of? Do you think your lawyer cannot uh, stand uh, Ozokome? I cannot drag Ozokome to court because he is the lawyer of Namdekan. And dragging him to court now, it seems we are fighting IPOP as well. By then, when IPOP come after you in the East as an individual, you know that you are gone. The only people that can withstand IPOP is government. Everybody knows that. So I told Aguzayon that I'm not ready to go to court. That I'm willing to settle with him. Then we agreed on settlement. So um, my barrister, they were there. I called uh, Macon. I told Macon, please, the petition you wrote, withdraw the petition. Let us settle. At least there is fire in the east so that the fire will not continue okay so um akuzayon was settled you know, you know uh, and this is just a problem of an Igbo man when you see Igbo youth bragging you know 
dragon. You will think that they are going to kill themselves. <laughs> but one, there is a reconciliation. If you see them laughing and discussing as a brother, you will not believe it. It's just, it's just a normal nature for Igbo person. I'm telling you, that very day, we talked as a young youth. We hugged ourselves. Akusayon even told me that there was a time he was supporting my NGO. He has explained people that he have donated money on his behalf. So we hugged ourselves. Lozeus also came that very day. So we hugged ourselves. I supposed to be, uh, I supposed to come out that Saturday, but the office that supposed to sign my this thing was not available. So when I was released, um, we all went to the commercial uh, office. The barrister told Nam the Khan. He started advising us, giving us fatherly advice. Before then, Commissioner of Police also gave us fatherly advice. When we met him and told him that we have settled, we want the case to go. Okay, now, our brother Matthias, can you quickly tell us what you people agreed on in the police station and uh, what advice do you have for your fans pertaining this case? If you, are a, if you are one of my followers and you are listening to this broadcast, I want you to know that what we agreed in the police station is that let the case go. Let the case do what? Go and die. We agreed that the case should die and go. And I'm here to pass the information to all my followers. To all my followers following me. All the members of Omen and Abuja is Unando. Listen. As a leader, I am telling you what we agreed in the police station. The police advise us that whenever we are preaching, that we are free to preach our religion and our belief. Understand. But whenever we are preaching, we should, we should not call someone's name. Secondly, we should not tag someone's picture. That is against the law. Do you get me? It is against the law. So as one of our, as if you are my follower and a member of Omen and Abu Zizu, when tomorrow you come out to mention someone's name or tag someone's picture while broadcasting, I'm not in support. Okay? So this is the advice they gave to us. And as we have concluded in this station, let this case go. Let it go. Everyone should forgive and forget. Our people all over the world, especially our people in Mozambique, and here pleading as a leader, please, you guys should forget and forgive. Everybody should forget this matter about Akuzayon and Ebukobi. Let us know that this matter has been settled and ended in the police station. Let's move on. Do you get me? Let us move on. So, if you are broadcasting, please, you can say whatever you want to say, but don't mention name. Nobody banned anybody from broadcasting. How about uh, our brother that was shot on the leg? Has he recovered or what effort are you making in order to take good care of the young boy? Because, you know, the boy was trying to fight for you as the leader are we going to leave him there or is there anything you people are planning towards the boy and Akuzayon himself also wholeheartedly told me that he will come to visit our brother that was wounded that he will take care of the brother he told me that which was still expecting him and I believe as he have said it that he's going to fulfill his promise so starting from today let us not continue this issue after this broadcast i don't want to see you online tagging akuzayon or ebukobi or any other person on this matter this matter have ended we have disagree to agree that is what is in in, in, in any problem Okay, now what advice do you have for your fans? Those people who always come to attack people on social media, especially anywhere they hear Matthias or anywhere they, 
they see somebody saying something about Jesus, they they will just flew the place and started and start attacking the person. What do you have to tell them? What's your advice towards them? And tomorrow, maybe you see all those people using my name, cascading my name on social media, calling me name. Don't fight. Leave them. Some of them might be member of Zion or member of other pastors. Then out of anger, because of they are using my name to castigate me, now you use their own pastor. Allow them, they are advertising us. They are advertising me. So everything about this matter, I'm here to tell you that we have ended everything. Okay, now, you know that when police came to arrest you, many people were fighting with the police who were heavily armed and as a result of that it resulted to one casualty which we thank god that nobody lost his or her life what advice do you have to tell your fans based on their reactions towards the police when police come for an arrest so that such ugly incident will not repeat itself again and i want to tell you this as a leader Whenever you find yourself, let me say, whenever police approach you, because I must tell you this as a leader, unless the police did not present ID card, even some people can form ID card of police, because every day they came, you know how everywhere in the East, you know, I was scared, maybe they have come to kidnap me or whatever. So wherever you are, when you see the police presenting their ID card to you, follow them. You don't need to drag with them. Gently follow them. Police station is not a place people are being killed. Police station is, no, is not a place people are being killed. Police station is a place where your right can be protected. Police people is even afraid of delay, detaining you illegal. Because everything has law. Okay, so I want this matter. I don't want anybody tomorrow when you call me, you still raise this matter of Akosayon and arrest. Let it go. This is what we agreed on police station. Okay, Matthias, I, from one of your videos you made in Abuja, I saw you saying that uh, you are going to work with the police in order to arrest any man of God that performs miracle. That any man of God that performs miracle and post it on social media, that you people are coming after him, you people will get him arrested. Did you meet the police? The police is for everybody. Just like when I told the commissioner, I told him that I'm going to work with your office because a lot of burdens in my heart of so many destruction I am seeing in the in Igbo land because of different types of religion. He told me that here is a public office. That a matter can only be called a case in a matter in a police station if it is being reported. But if it's not reported, it's never be a matter. So do, do, do. Okay, that was nice having our brother with us here today in the studio. And uh, we really wish to thank you for, you know, having the time to speak to us. We'll be waited for this kind of uh, speech. And uh, we are happy that it is just coming. It's not coming late. And we are happy that you are in the side of peace and you've accepted to embrace peace i hope that those your opponents are also going to embrace peace though they have always been peaceful anyways or they see that you are the one who is looking for their trouble but i like the fact that you are very calm now and i believe things are going to work well you know most of the times some of the things you do are very correct but the way you champion them are the main problem and uh, i believe that with appropriate management you are going to go far and your message is going to go wide. Are you getting it? So the main issue is that even the person that did not offend you, you see the person as a problem. But I believe all this is going to be re re resolved and uh, peace. We are going to have a lasting peace in our place and in our community. Thank you once again for enjoying our broadcast. Please like, share and follow us for more updates. Thank you.